Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing some benchmarks on Firefox on a Mac Mini with the M1 processor. And I'm going to be using two different versions of Firefox. I'm going to be using one that is optimized to run on Intel, and that will run under Rosetta 2 on the Mac Mini. And the second one will be Firefox that is optimized to run on the Apple Silicon. So I've done a previous video like this for Google Chrome, and you can find that video in my playlist. I'll put that in the description. Also, if you're planning on purchasing one of these Mac Minis, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I do want to point out though that I'm using the Mac Mini M1 that has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive. And I don't know that those are available on Amazon, but many people will probably choose to go with the base model. So when I did this with Google Chrome, Google has two different versions of Chrome, one that runs on Intel and the other that's compiled for Apple Silicon, which may also run on Intel, I haven't tried that. But Firefox was updated to run on Apple Silicon and it already updated automatically on my computer. So I need to download a previous version. So I Googled that and they don't like you to use old versions. They talk about it on this page, but for this reason, I need the old version. So I'll click it here, Firefox 82, I'll hit allow. So that will download. Now one problem you can run into with an old version of Firefox is that it likes to automatically update itself. So I need to turn that feature off. Maybe, it may not matter. So I'll open up Firefox here. And I can run it directly from this folder. And if I don't reboot it, I don't think it will actually do the upgrade. So I'll open this up. It's asking if I want to open it. I'll say OK. Now I do want to specify that I'm using a user account that I don't normally use. So there isn't any old Firefox preferences or anything in it. OK, so this loaded up. Now if I go up here to Firefox about Firefox, You'll see it's already starting to download this update. It does it very quickly. I want to click on the little menu icon on the right and I'll go down to preferences. I'll scroll down on this page. It says check for updates, but let you choose to install them. So I'll hit that and then I'll say I want to discard the current update. I'll close this. Now if I go here again, you can see it's not updating automatically. There's a button to do it. So I'm going to leave this like this. I think this will work for me. I don't think it's going to affect the performance at all running inside of the disk image. So I'll close out Safari here, go back down to Firefox, and the benchmarks I'm going to be running is Browser Bench. So I'll open that up. This has three different benchmarks on it, Jetstream, Motion Mark, and Speedometer. I'll do this at full screen. So I'm going to run all three of these, then I'll close out of this and open up the Firefox I have installed on this computer, and I'll run them again and we'll take a look at the difference. And one more thing to point out, let me minimize this real quick. I want to go over how you can check that this is actually running on Intel or Apple Silicon. So I'll go down to my applications and I have my applications folder in my dock. So I can just open it here and I'll go to utilities and then activity monitor. And if I go to process here, it's sorted by process. I'll go down to F and look for Firefox. So here we have it. And if I look over here under the architecture column, it says Intel. So this is running under Intel. If it was universal binary that runs on Intel and Apple Silicon, it would say Apple here. The other way you can check on your system is go to About This Mac, go to System Report, click on Applications on the left side, and I'll scroll down and find Firefox here. And you can see here it says Universal. So this doesn't say Apple here, it says Universal, but that means it runs on Intel or Apple Silicon. And this is the installed version I have. You can see it's version 84.0.2. So that's why I'm running the older one from the disk image. Okay, so I'll start the tests and I'm going to speed through all this and then I'll come back and we'll analyze the numbers. Okay, we got 93.792. Now I'll run motion mark. Okay, we got 234.80. Next I'll do speedometer. Okay, I got 86.5. So now I'll quit out of this and I'll close out this hard drive, the installer hard drive, 
Then I'll go down to my Applications folder and I'll open Firefox up here. I'll double check the version I'm running. It's up to date. It's 84.0.2. I'll go to my Activity Monitor. And now it says Apple. So I'll run the same three tests here. First I'll run Jetstream. Okay, so for Jetstream 2 we got 112.162. I'll do motion mark next. Okay, that finished up, it's 422.93. And finally, we'll do speedometer. Okay, we got 204. Now I will compile all of these results into a table so we can take a closer look at them. Okay, so I have the results from all six tests. Each row here is a benchmark, and the two columns are for the Intel and Apple Silicon processor. Speed up here is the Apple Silicon benchmark divided by the Intel benchmark. So for Jetstream, Apple Silicon was 1.2 times faster. Motion mark was 1.8 times faster, and speedometer was 2.35 times faster. So on Google Chrome, we had the Jetstream and speedometer were about 1.75 times faster, and motion mark was over two times faster. So the performance of Firefox on Apple Silicon is lagging quite a bit behind Google Chrome, and the speed up itself also lags behind Google Chrome. I still think it's a usable browser for many things. I use Safari, Chrome, and Firefox on my Mac for different things and I haven't had any specific performance issues with any of them. It will be interesting to see if these benchmarks get faster over time as they make optimizations for the Apple Silicon processor, or if they do. So, interesting results here. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.